Okay, you spent about five hours on a piece, you're in a rush, you're gonna do stripes, you're using painter's tape, um, and you've rushed through your priming process and you put tape on it too soon. Like myself, this morning I was teaching a class and I pushed through and I knew that I was gonna take the chance of when I removed the tape that it was gonna lift paint from my project like that. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to repair this. This is not as big of a deal as you think. We've got this piece right here. We've got this whole section down here. Now this piece I've already sanded. So this had two coats of primer and a coat of white paint after I deglossed. So first I'm gonna take a super fine grit. This is a surf prep pad. And I'm gonna sand this little area right here. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna sand my little edges until I knock off all of the loose stuff. You just wanna sand your little edges smooth. Now we need to build that up. So let's think about this. If you have three layers of paint on top of that wood, which is two layers of primer and one layer of paint. If you just paint over it, you're adding one layer that's gonna to touch the wood, but the layers on the that are painted and still in place comes four layers. It becomes two layers of primer and two layers of paint against the wood part, which is only one layer of paint. So you're always gonna have that dip. So what you need to do is go in and build up your center. So I've got a small paintbrush and I'm actually gonna use my primer again. I'm gonna do two coats of primer. Just, I want it to match what's around it. So here we go. So I'm gonna take my little brush. I'm gonna do two coats of primer. I'm gonna do one coat. I'm gonna just blot it in and I'm gonna stay right inside that line. You wanna just fill that in just like that. You don't wanna get a, a outside of that because then you're just building up your outside. So that we're gonna let that dry here and I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm just gonna stay right inside where that brown is, doing a little blotting and I'm gonna let this dry for several hours and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do it again with primer again. I'll come back, I'll do another coat of primer just like that. And I'll let that dry for several hours. And then I'm gonna come back with white paint and I'm gonna do my third layer just so it matches that around it. Third layer, I'm gonna kind of blend it out over the edge of it a little bit. I'm not gonna stay right inside the line. I'm gonna let it go over the line a little bit. And when that dries, I'm gonna take this sandpaper again, super fine. I'm just gonna run it lightly over the whole area. Then I'm gonna take a big fat paintbrush and just do a swipe over this whole thing and you will not ever know that that peeled off section was there. I'm teaching you this so that you don't just try to start painting over the whole thing because you will always see that dented in area that had pulled up. You gotta make what came up match what was on the outside. You gotta build it up, build it up. Build up your paint just like we build each other up. That was really cheesy. Anyway, all right, that's it. Hope that helps.